Hello, this is Eric with My Boring Channel, and in today's video, I am going to pair my iPhone 10 with my DJI Osmo Mobile, this thing right here, this little video stabilizer, and I'm going to see if they together can produce some smooth, good video. Now, the point of me making this video is that this device, when paired with my previous phone, the iPhone 7 Plus, had some serious issues. The most notable issue being a jittering effect in the background uh, when using the wide angle lens on the iPhone 7 Plus. This jittering effect or warbling effect or whatever you want to call it, I'm not a videographer, sorry I don't know the technical term, but it would ruin my videos. Now I did find a workaround and that was to use the two times lens or the zoom lens on the iPhone 7 Plus. And so what was the difference between the zoom lens and the wide angle lens or the main lens on the iPhone 7 Plus? Well, the difference is that the, the zoom lens did not have optical image stabilization. The wide angle lens or the main lens on the 7 Plus did have optical image stabilization. So my hypothesis is that the warbling effect was related to the optical image stabilization on the iPhone 7 Plus. Now, my fear with the iPhone 10 and this device is that there's going to be a lot of problems because both lenses, the wide angle lens and the zoom lens on the iPhone on the iPhone 10 have optical image stabilization. So unless Apple has come up with some sort of new implementation of the image stabilization, then we may see some problems with this pairing, with this and the iPhone 10. I'm hoping, however, that somehow either DJI and Apple talked and figured this problem out or that there's just some better technology and that we won't have any issues with the iPhone 10 and the DJI Osmo Mobile and that we will be able to get some great smooth results. So let's get started with our testing. Okay, this first video is with the DJI app. And all the videos I make today are gonna to be 1080p, 30 frames per second. So, let me do a little bit of walking here. Check for a jittering effect in the background. So that bridge might be shaking around a little bit or those trees in the background might be shaking around a little bit as I walk and as I'm moving. If you don't see that, that's a good thing. Okay, this next test is using the native camera app on the iPhone. We're using 1080p at 30 frames per second. That's what all these tests will be at. And what I want you to pay attention to is the background. Do you see any type of warbling, jittering issues? If you don't, it's good news. If you do, well, that's bad news. This test is using the two times lens with the native camera app or the zoom lens. 30 frames per second, 1080p.
Okay, so this test is going to be using an app called Filmic Pro. It's the app I typically use when recording video with my iPhone because it gives a lot more options for tweaking frame rate and things like that. It's a great app and I highly recommend it if you're serious about making the best quality video you can on your iPhone. So, I am using the image stabilization, the, the in-phone image stabilization. I have it turned on as I'm making this video. That's the nice thing about Filmic Pro is you can turn on the software-based image stabilization or you can turn it off. And for this clip, I have it turned on. For my next clip, I'm going to use the same resolution, 1080p at 30 frames per second, but I'm going to turn the, the software-based image stabilization off. Now keep in mind that the software-based image stabilization is not the same as the optical image stabilization. There's no way to turn that off. Okay, this next clip is again with Filmic Pro. The software-based image stabilization is turned off. You cannot do this with the regular camera app. You can't turn that image stabilization off. You also can't do that with the DJI app. So we'll see if this looks any better or if this looks worse. Some people say you should disable the, the software-based image stabilization when using the Osmo Mobile with Filmic Pro, the iPhone. I don't know if that's true or not. We'll find out after this test. Okay, this test is with Filmic Pro using the zoom lens on the iPhone 10. Again, 1080p, 30 frames per second, like all the others. The image stabilization, the, the software-based image stabilization is turned on. And again, you cannot turn off the optical image stabilization. So that is always on with both of these lenses on the iPhone 10. This last test is with Filmic Pro using the zoom lens with the software-based image stabilization turned off. Again, all these tests are at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Okay, well, after looking at those clips, I think I can safely say that all the footage is utter trash. The iPhone 10 and the Osmo Mobile, they are not a good pairing. If you have the iPhone 10, don't get the Osmo Mobile. If you have the Osmo Mobile, don't get the iPhone 10 or any iPhone with optical image stabilization. Get an old iPhone or get a different phone altogether because these devices don't go well together. 
There's no way I could get rid of any of that warbling and juddering and weirdness in the background. It occurred regardless of which lens I used on the iPhone 10. So it's a real downer. It's a real disappointment because at least I had a workaround with my iPhone 7 Plus. Now with this device, the iPhone 10, I have no workaround. So I have a useless DJI Osmo Mobile video stabilizer. Anybody want it?